and welcome to yet another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. My name is Silocat, and this is our community chosen whimsical game. Okay, so the last time we were here, we didn't do a lot. We completed a couple quests, and we built a little bit on our town. We made it, the wall a little bit higher, and kind of rearranged some stuff. But guess what? While I was off camera, I did some extra stuff. And we'll take a little tour of that, and then we're going to get right on to the first quest, which is one for Rolo. He wants us to build something for him. Um, I'm going to be honest, full transparency here, I accidentally clicked on that quest while I was doing my building. But I will go click on him again and read out what he says because voices, duh. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys have a great time today. I know I'm going to. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so check this out. I made an entire separate floor. And because I am so tired of people sleeping in my room. This is my room. Forget you guys. Uh, also, and you'll notice up in the top left hand corner, we have maxed out our base. So let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. And in the morning, we will talk to Rolo. All right, let's get going. Where is he? Hello, there he is. Oh, come back. Ah, Silocat, how are you progressing with the construction of the steel stockade? With a structure like that, we'll have no trouble defending our town from even the fiercest of foes. Provided you build it on the west side of the city, that is. You'll most likely have to demolish the old defenses to make space. Now, get to work, my lad. Build the steel stockade. So, building it on the west side of town is going to be this side of town right here. And this wonderful, wonderful thing that I have built, I now have to destroy kind of a jerk thing of him to do to me, but that's okay. Okay, we're almost done. This seems to be working a lot faster. However, it looks like it does a higher amount of damage to my hammer, or to my sledgehammer, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Okay, so now we need to build. And for that, we need our blueprints. Nope, I missed a spot. Right there. Okay. Okay, that's not exactly how I wanted this to go. But we will make it happen. So. We have lots of stone. Uh, we have our two statues. And it looks like we have some barricades. And then a big giant door. So the... Oh, uh, uh, here I am looking at the picture on the left. It actually lists everything out on the right that I can do. So let's go ahead and start building. We've got our stone wall. That's a good thing. Um, looks like we may need some more pieces, which that's not as good of a thing. But that's okay. I keep on doing this the hard way. Okay. 
So we have now successfully completed this side. Let's look to see what all we need. Um, so before the episode began, I went ahead and grabbed a couple items that I knew that I would need, uh, such as the steel door and the barricade. As soon as we got the blueprints for this, it gave us the recipes for how to make these. So let's go ahead. We're going to go grab these. You know what? I don't even have to leave the base. We can sit right outside of it and pull in everything we need. Whoops, not like that though. Okay, so we go to items and look, now we have all of our wonderful items. Okay, I need stone wall. Actually, let's, okay, get that nice and organized. We're going to put away the flying buttresses or the buttresses, whatever they are. No butts for us. I'm going to take those out. I'm going to take out all of my spikes. I know that I'm going to need some statues. Um, as soon as I find said statues. Uh, I will need the... Okay, so I'm going to need the barricades. Let's go ahead and take those out. I am going to need... I've got one wall sconce, so I will need to make an extra wall sconce. Or I have to take one away from something else. Uh, and then I still need stone. Huh. I don't have any stone. Okay, so, well, when in doubt, when you don't have stone, there are other things you can do, and we're going to do that this time. So, I to, to get around this, basically you get some dirt instead, just regular earth, and then... We'll build, we'll build the wall out of dirt, and we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and get this one out of the way. Come on. Come on. Okay. Complaint here. There you are. Okay. So, there's that. We know that all of these circles are going to be spike traps. Okay. Don't do what I did, which is to, like, not put the easy things down first. Okay. Statue in, and one more statue in. I wonder what goes in these corners. Oh, shit! Excuse my language. Well. Well. I may have done this in the wrong order, but I can... <laughs> let's do this. And one more. There we go. Okay. So, I... <laughs> Look, Rello's like stuck in between. Okay. Oh, and look, some spikes. Awesome. Man, that is super scary. Ow. Some jerk statues right there. Watch here in the, like two more quests. I'm gonna have to tear this entire thing down too. Okay, how far over did I go on this side? Okay, up one more level. I'm doing the one thing I didn't want to end up doing, which is spending the entire time building.
Okay, so we did a little bit. Um, here you go. Uh oh, I'm hungry. Let's eat the steak. Let's eat an egg. Let's eat some mushrooms. And now let's go find Rolo and turn in this quest. And you know we just built something. We're probably gonna have to fight something. By my bold and beautiful brow, you have completed the steel stockade. Now our city is safe from any attack. Three chairs for Silo Cat. Hip hip. What? Is the stockade truly strong enough to keep the golem at bay? Don't you remember, Silo Cat? The golem was on our side. It watched over the people of Catlin and protected them from harm. I don't know what Larache is trying to convince you of, but there's no way the Golem would ever harm us. Besides, it's unthinkable that the creature who once served mankind would become the leader of the monster's forces. There's simply no basis to this silly story of his. He's doing nothing but stirring up the unrest. It's people like Larache who hold back a city's progress, you know. We might have to do something about him. Oh, well, okay, we're gonna we're gonna oust him? Or uh out him or off him? Ugh. But anyways, good work, Silocat. Our new defenses are second to none. Blah ha ha ha. Seed of life. Okay. Let's use it and abuse it. Oh. Whoops. How'd that happen? Okay. Oh, don't want to talk to you. Go away, Camel. Silo Cat, my boy, our city is growing by the day. Some sort of decisive battle with the monsters must be brewing, don't you think? Now that we finish construction of the steel blockade, uh, steel stockade, our defenses are now impregnable. Or are they? I must say, I'm not quite satisfied. Our fortifications could be great deal, a great deal stronger than they are now. Which brings me to my request. I think it's time you put a little bit more work in on this city. A few new rooms would be sorely overdue addition to our town, my boy. We could also do with overhauling our defenses to better off... We could also do with overhauling our defenses to better fend off the monster's increasingly fierce assaults. I won't bore you with the particulars. You're the builder, after all. Just improve our town however you see fit. By my flaring nostrils, marvelous work, Silo Cat. Our city is growing ever greater. And so are you. Now listen closely, my boy. I have big news. Within the Catlin Chronicle, I have found a description of the biggest and boldest defensive structure ever invented. It's called the Catlin Shield. And if that isn't a majestic and awe-inspiring name, I don't know what is. If we had one of those, we could protect our home against anything. I'd even go so far as to say we could consider the reconstruction of Cantland complete. However, while the Cantland Chronicle describes the shield's function, and appearance, the details of how to build it are sadly lacking. As it stands, we simply won't be able to make the thing. But there is still hope. I can offer you a few clues as to its construction, but there's shit to stir up some ingenious ideas in that builder brain of yours. I know that one day, you will unravel the secret of how to build the Catlin Shield. Okay, so did I finish this? 
Oh, no, I did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, I did. Thank you. Okay. So, I've built out the defenses. Let's go take a look at this guy one last time. We can see what we did. So, we built this up. I put spikes back here. This is nice. Um, the wall itself is kind of unfunctional. Like, it blocks, but there's another wall behind it. Which, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, but you can get up here, which allows you to pretty much go wherever you want. Uh, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, this area right here, this is all fine and dandy. I could have put spikes down, but I don't see any reason. Also extended the spikes out here and the total trap area to out here just to catch more enemies. And, um, yeah, that looks like that's about it. So, I think at this point, it's time to battle. Because I see nothing else. And we will probably finish up the episode on that, or with that. Come here, Rolo. Let's battle it out. By my straining shoulder, Silcat, the monsters are preparing for another assault. As I suspected, they see our town growing ever greater and becoming more daring and desperate in their attempts to stop it. However, we're not yet ready to take on their leader. We must drive these, these monsters back to build some more time. Silocat, my boy, are you ready for some combat? Hell yeah, I am. Let's go. Let's make it happen. All right, let's first go up to the watchtower. As we know from past experience, where are they? They're going to be around here somewhere, right? Ah, oh, there they are. Okay, so we know from past experience that... These guys are bad news. But so far, we're fine. Um, I see where it's destroying them, but it's also destroying some of our um, other items. Oh, there's a uh, silver one. Let's come out here. Can I come out here? Ooh, a scorpion horn. A war hammer. Oh, that looks mighty nice. The leader appears. Okay. These guys I want to be careful of. Okay. Ow. Okay, this guy's gone. We got him. Okay, so that was it. Dun, dun, dun. We win! Ooh, a green teleport. A green teleportal! As uh, I'm sure Rolo will tell us. Yay, clap for me! Clap for me! Wait, who are you? Who are you? Well, you look all nice and... Are you, you... You've got... Oh, you're kind of cute. Okay. Okay, yeah. It's just, uh... I'm going to extend this out a little bit, because I keep on feeling like I'm going to fall down and then get really upset. Okay, so we know that I got to do a little bit of repair, but in all honesty, that is a much better battle than the last one we had. So let's go ahead. We're going to repair. Come on. No, we, we are going to repair. Thank you. Such a good little character. Yes, you are. Okay, so I've got my scorpion horn here. Um, I kind of want to see what this uh, this new hammer I can build is. Thanks for opening that up for me, dude. Is that going to be in here? You know what? I'm looking in here. Oh, look. I can make a stuffed hammer hood. That's kind of nice. How cute. Okay. 
Okay, I was kind of afraid of that. We're going to go over here, because this guy can build the most of the items that we want. We can build some more steel stores, or steel doors. We're going to do that. Um, okay. And now we have the Warhammer. Um, it is a tool, so it is not necessarily considered a weapon. Um... Okay, attack plus 37 and can break very hard blocks. So I wonder if there's some new blocks in this new area that we haven't haven't um, hit on. Get it? Hit on? Ha! Okay, sorry. I couldn't resist. I really couldn't resist. I, I kind of feel dumb for that one as well I should. Uh, yeah, so the Warhammer is 37. The Sledgehammer is 29. Definitely a better one. Um... Better than the steel broadsword, I see. So we will we will go and see what all we need for that. Um, more store. Oh, more scorpion horns. We will probably find those in the next area, which is going to be our green teleportal, uh, which we will place in this handy dandy place area right now. Move, Larishek. Thank you. Okay. Everybody's happy, including me. Okay, and now for the fun part. We're going to put this door right here. Whoops, maybe not right there. No, really. Thank you. Okay, that's close enough. We're gonna put the new door right there! Ta-da! And now our base is completely blocked in. Um, and that should help keep some of these enemies away. Look at this guy! He's like smacking up on him! What the hell? Okay, Larishay didn't have it. Okay. It was you. I forgot your name. But that's okay. That is a story for yet another day. So next time, on the ep next episode, we're going to talk to you. And we're going to talk to you. And everybody's going to be fine. And Pippa's going to make us something really gross in the kitchen. All right. So everybody, you guys have a wonderful day. And I... All right. Let's... All right. Time to end it. It just ended just ended. So it's such a good thing that I'm going to be cutting all this stuff out. Wow, I'm dumb. Guess what? That's it. That's the end of our episode. All right, so we saw the building of the Steel Stockade, uh, and we also got to see a little bit of our base improvements, and it looks like we have some new people. We also went through a battle, and we got a new area to explore. And all this is going to happen next time. So, guys, I had a great time. I hope you did too. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you stay up to date and you won't miss another episode. Also, please leave a like if you liked, please leave a comment down below. I really appreciate it. I love hearing y'all's feedback, y'all have been doing wonderful with it. I can't say anything more. I love you guys and I want you all to have a great day.